Good day everyone. I am Shina May C. Tehakao, a first year student of Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management and I am here to discuss about water and biogeochemical cycles, uh, specifically the phosphorus cycle. So before we start on our main topic, let's talk about first what is phosphorus. So phosphorus is a chemical element found on earth in numerous compound forms, such as the phosphate ion located in water, soil, and sediments. Phosphorus does not enter atmosphere, remaining mostly on land and in rock and in soil minerals. The quantities of phosphorus in soil are generally small and this often limits plant growth. That is why People often apply phosphate fertilizers on farmland. 80% of the mined phosphorus is used to make fertilizers. Phosphate from fertilizers, sewage, and detergents can cause pollution to lake and streams. So, the role of phosphorus in animals and plants. Phosphorus is an essential nutrient for animals and plants. It plays, a cut, it plays a critical role in cell development and is a key component of molecules that store energy, such as ATP or adenosine triphosphate, DNA, and lipids or fats and oils. Insufficient phosphorus in the soil can result in a decreased crop yield. Animals absorb phosphates by eating plants or plant-eating animals. So, what is phosphorus cycle? It's the biogeochemical cycle that describes the movement of phosphorus through the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and biosphere. Unlike many biogeochemical cycles, the atmosphere does not play a significant role in the movement of phosphorus because the phosphorus and the phosphorus-based compounds are usually solids and at the typical ranges of temperature and pressure found on Earth. So, how does phosphorus cycle flow? Over time, rain and weathering cause rocks to release phosphate ions and other minerals. This inorganic phosphate, plants take up inorganic phosphate from the soil. The plants may then be consumed by animals. Once in the plant or animal, the phosphate is incorporated into organic molecules such as DNA. When the plant or animal dies, it decays and the organic phosphate is returned to the soil. Within the soil, organic forms of phosphate can be, a made, can be made available to plants by bacteria that break down organic matter to in inorganic forms of phosphorus. This process is known as mineralization. Phosphorus in soil can end up in waterways and eventually in oceans. Once there, it can be incorporated into sediments over time. So let's go back to the statement that we said earlier about why is it that the phosphorus cycle is the most lowest cycle among the biogeochemical cycles. It is because of this process called uplift over geological time or geological uplift. So what causes of the phosphorus or what causes the phosphorus or the phosphate ions to move back or to uplift uplift back to the mountains where the first process should begin with. So Natural disasters like earthquakes or other geological movements can cause the phosphorus or the phosphate ions to go back or to uplift back to the mountains. So that is why it is the slowest because it takes time because earthquake doesn't happen always or other geological movements that causes the uh, the the floor or the 
the can earth's floor to move so it takes time because um the phosphorus that is incorporated into sediments also takes time and yes this earthquake could be the cause why is it that it is time consuming to uplift back those phosphorus or those phosphate ions to go back or to uplift back to the mountain where the cycle was first to begin with by the process of weathering so that's all about the phosphorus cycle so i hope that you learned something from my report and also thank you for listening bye